And we have an update this noon on a teenager charged with murder. The Madison High School junior is accused of stabbing two other teens, killing one, after a social media exchange escalated to a fight. She was back in court today, and as KCF12's Max Massey shows us, it doesn't look like she's going anywhere anytime soon. Emotions running high this morning at the Bear County Juvenile District Court. I don't want to talk about this, honestly. Aaliyah Latiker's friend was stabbed and killed back on March 1st. And today, Latiker and others supporting the victims sitting in on the hearing of that teenage suspect. I just know that my friend didn't deserve to get stabbed twice. We won't release this girl's name or show her face because she is a minor. Your Honor, she's been doing very well in detention. We haven't had any behavioral issues. Um, based on the serious nature of the allegation, we are recommending her continued detention. We don't feel that she was um, being adequately supervised and she may be a danger to herself or others. But that teenager's defense attorney told the judge she had a supportive and safe family and a clean history. This is her first referral to the department. Um, certainly um, uh, releasing her on a GPS monitor with full house arrest is an option that the court has. And we would ask that the court reconsider that and order that at this time. But in the end, the judge made her decision. I am going to order you detained. She doesn't need to be detained. She needs to do like something better than detained. Like, I don't care. Thank you. What's next in the case and if the suspect's going to be charged as an adult are questions we hope to get answers to on April 1st, the next set date for the hearing. Reporting from the Juvenile Court, Max Massey, KSAT 12 News.